Hey there and welcome back to another video. For this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use the Tensor Art AI generative photo program. So for those unfamiliar, Tensor Art AI is one of those AI image generative programs that turns text prompts into beautiful AI generated images. Here's just a sample of a bunch of Tensor Art AI generations that you can expect to make yourself. As you can see, the quality is really good and there are so many different variations and styles to choose from. So the first thing you want to do though is to, of course, sign in with your Tensor AI account. Do this by clicking sign in on the upper right corner and feel free to either use a Google or Discord account if you have one already. If you don't though and you don't wish to use those accounts, then feel free to use your verified email address. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using my personal Google account to make my Tensor AI program account. Now, once you've logged in, you can start the AI generation process. So the first thing I want to show you guys is you can actually choose from one of the already existing generations, hover over an image that you like, and click on the Remix button that shows up on the upper right corner. From there, you can see all the details of that generated image. You can see the models used, the values, and the prompts used to generate that specific image. As you can see, once you've generated the same image with the same prompts that you like, it'll show up here on your feed. And if you click on it, you'll see an enlarged version of the image that you wish to generate. So let's try adding a new LORA model to this generation. As you can see, by clicking Add Laura, there are so many different choices to choose from. There are also so many different basic models that are available to you to choose from as well. You can even change these sliders in order to set how much this model will impact your generation. There are also a lot of different details here under the settings to change aspect ratio, width, height, sampling methods, etc. So for this one, let's try setting our own settings. I'm going to choose this specific model, and I'm going to just set my own values here. Once you've done all that, go ahead and click on Generate, and on your feed on the right-hand side, you're going to see the new generated image with the new prompts and settings that you've chosen. For example, here you can see that there is a definite change in style from the first generation that we've made. Next, we can change the VAE in order to edit the way the program will access our prompts. Feel free to follow along, but of course, there are so many different settings here to choose from that you'll spend hours just tinkering with all these different options. And of course, don't forget that every generation you make will show up on the Tensor Art community feed. These AI generative programs are all about community collaboration, so feel free to just explore and contribute to this ever-growing AI generation community. And that's really all there is to using Tensor Art AI. It's absolutely free, and it really creates such beautiful AI-generated images. And that's all the time we have for this video. If you feel like you learned something new, feel free to leave a like. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Yet again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.